This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lessons 30 and 31. The objective is to divide decimal dividends by non-unit decimal divisors. There are multiple standards with this lesson. This is Problem 1 from Homework. 2 and 4 tenths divided by 8 tenths. The first thing we're going to do is turn this into a fraction. 2 and 4 tenths divided by 8 tenths. Now if you look at this fraction, you're going to notice that there's something a little different. This fraction has decimals in it. Now we're going to need to rename the fraction so it becomes a whole number. We need to look at our denominator. Our denominator is 8 tenths. Now since it's a tenth, the most efficient way to rename it as a whole number is going to be to multiply it by 10. So I'm going to multiply my, numer my denominator by 10 and my numerator by 10. Now 2 and 4 tenths times 10 from previous lessons, I remember, is 24. Now if you forgot how you got that, back in Module 1 we learned how to use a place value chart. So I'm going to put 2 and 4 tenths on my place value chart. Now I remember that when I multiplied, I always had to shift my numbers to the left. Now since I'm only multiplying by 10, I only need to shift my number one place to the left. So I'm going to move over my 4, and I'm going to move over my 2. If you notice that my answer is 24, it matches my numerator of 24. Let's look at the second part. We have 8 tenths times 10. I know that 8 tenths times 10 is 8. But just to be sure, I'm going to use my place value chart again. So I'm going to put in 8 tenths. Again, since I'm multiplying times 10, I'm going to shift my number one space to the left. And if we look at that, we have 8 ones, which matches my denominator of 8 ones. So let's divide 24 divided by 8. Now a little trick I have is that I take my numerator and I dive into the swimming pool. So we know that 24 divided by 8 is 3. 8 times 3 is 24, subtracted by 0. So for 2 and 4 tenths divided by 8 tenths, my answer is 3. This is an example from Lesson 31. 21 and 56 hundredths divided by 98 hundredths. So again, we're going to put this into a fraction. 21 and 56 hundredths divided by 98 hundredths. So again, we're going to need to look at our denominator. Now our denominator is a hundredth. So the most efficient way to rename it as a whole number is going to be to multiply by one hundredth. So we're going to multiply by a hundred to our denominator and our numerator. Now I know that 21 and 56 hundredths times 100 equals 2,156. Now again, if you forgot how to do this, we're going to use our place value chart to show us. So I'm going to put 21 and 56 hundredths in my place value chart. Now because I'm multiplying times 100, I'm going to shift my numbers two places to the left. Since I'm moving two places to the left, you'll notice that I'm moving two places, so my 6 will go in the 1's place, my 5 in the 10's place, my 1 in the 100's place, and my 2 in the 1000's place. I'm going to put my decimal down, and you'll notice that my answer is 2,156, which also matches my numerator. Now let's look at our denominator. We have 98 hundredths times 100. So 98 hundredths times 100 is 98. But let's look at our place value chart again to make sure if we're correct. So I'm going to put in 98 hundredths, decimal point 98. Again, because I'm multiplying times 100, I'm going to shift my numbers two places to the left. So since I have to shift to two places to the left, I'm going to start by putting my 8 in the 1's place and my 9 in the 10's place. And if you see this, you can see that my whole number is 98. So now we're going to divide 2,156 divided by 98. Again, you'll remember my trick where our numerator dives into the swimming pool. Let's divide. Can 98 go into 2? No, it cannot. So I'm going to put an x above the 2. Can 98 go into 21? No, it cannot. So I'm going to put an x there as well. 98 can go into 215. Let's see. 98 times 2. We'll start with that. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 196. I think that's the closest we're going to get. So we have 196. Let's subtract. We're going to need to borrow. 15 minus 6 is 9, 10 minus 9 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. The next step is to bring down the 6. 
Well, we look back here and we notice that 98 can go into 196 evenly. 98 times 2 equals 196, and 196 minus 196 equals 0. So our answer for 21 and 56 hundredths divided by 98 hundredths is 22.